We would like to introduce our paper entitled A Robust Scheme for the Implementation of the Quantum Gravity Model in Trap Islands. Dynamical decoupling was originally developed in the early years of nuclear magnetic resonance as a tool to protect and preserve the quantum information or the quantum state encoded in a nuclear spin. However, and with the advent of modern quantum technologies, this technique has experienced a revival and represents a reliable tool to protect and process quantum information. In our paper, we focus on a particular dynamical decoupling technique called concatenated continuous dynamical decoupling, or simply CCD, which can be efficiently applied to simulate the quantum gravity model in trap ion settings in a variety of parameter regimes. More specifically, we deal with the main source of the coherence present in optical ions, namely the magnetic defacing noise, which can be averaged out while keeping intact the dynamics of the quantum gravity model. The quantum gravity model describes the interaction between a single two-level system and a bosonic field mode. This model shows different physics depending on the parameter regime, as the transition from James Cummings' model to deep strong coupling regime, the relativistic Dirac equation, or the emergence of a quantum phase transition. For the understanding of dynamical decoupling, let us first consider the simplest case, namely a spin one half particle in a magnetic field. In this picture, we can see that the spin is rotating at a frequency omega zero, which depends on the magnetic field intensity. If we introduce a radio frequency field, the Hamiltonian has to be complete with this new term. Then, in a rotating frame with respect to the free energy term of the spin one half, the Hamiltonian, after the rotating wave approximation, has this form. Therefore, the state psi zero becomes an eigenstate of the Hamiltonian, and hence the quantum coherence is preserved. However, a more realistic situation corresponds to consider that the magnetic field may fluctuate. Then, introducing the radio frequency field will help us to eliminate the noisy component, represented here by delta m. This can be better visualized again in a rotating frame with respect to the free energy term of the spin. After the rotating wave approximation, the resonant component of the radio frequency driving allows us to define a new spin basis, where the transitions due to the noise are prohibited. This is only possible if the noise, delta m, has no frequency components on the range of capital omega. In this manner, we can eliminate the noisy term that affects the quantum register. Additionally, we can also consider that our driving also fluctuates, which is represented in this picture by delta capital omega. Then, this new noisy term can be handled with an extra radio frequency field, which is incorporated to the Hamiltonian through the following term. Under the same conditions, one can get the following Hamiltonian, where the noise can be eliminated in the same manner as in the previous case. This strategy can be further applied introducing a third radio frequency field. Each radio frequency field gives us an additional layer of protection against noise. That is why this is known as concatenated continuous dynamical decoupling, or CCD. In this article, we propose to use this technique in a trap ion setting for a robust simulation of the quantum Rabi model. In this situation, we have considered an optical ion interacting with a set of lasers. The general Hamiltonian is the following. While some lasers are used to generate the quantum gravity model Hamiltonian, other lasers provide the protecting layers. A summary of the parameters, up to two layers of protection, are outlined in the following table, while a detailed analysis of how to combine dynamical terms with protecting layers can be found in the article. With this, we have demonstrated the applicability of the CCD scheme to simulate the quantum gravity model in a trap ion setting. We expect to further apply this technique to more sophisticated models in the search of a robust quantum simulator.